breaking Obama welfare brats exposed after massive raid. You'll often hear talk of illegal immigrants abusing our welfare system. Would you be surprised to know there are native citizens abusing the system in a huge way too? <laughs> Two couples were arrested in New Jersey after committing welfare fraud. Both couples lived their lives as millionaires, yet still received government assistance. One couple collected more than $338,000, while the other couple collected $585,000 from their Social Security, Medicaid, food stamps, and Section 8 housing, according to Independent Journal Review. The first family, the Sorotskins, collected the $338,000 bounty through programs that were designed to help the poor in times of need. The couple lived their lives with over a million dollars to spare. We have to wonder how this happened for so long without anyone catching on. It seems to be another case of Obama brats doing whatever they want. The other couple Yocheved and Shimon Nussbaum earned over $2 million by creating fake businesses and claiming benefits for them. On top of all this, they received $1,500 every month from the government. Law enforcement said that this is far from over and that they have more people in their sights. Before long, we're going to see more millionaires arrested for abusing a system that was not designed for them. This is outrageous. When the police spoke more about the issue, they made it a point to say they intended to send a strong message to people who participate in this kind of behavior. The cops want these people to know the party is over. These criminals may have been enjoying their lives doing whatever they wanted all while leeching off the government, but those days are gone. It's going to be amazing when the rest of these frauds get arrested for disrespecting the taxpayers of this country, who unfortunately have to fund the very system these people abuse. If this is such a big deal in New Jersey, imagine how big a problem it is in states like California and New York. There are probably tens of thousands of people abusing the system there, and this is a great way to shake them all up. The good news is that the city is coming forward and admitting that these crimes are disturbing and are causing problems for the community. The word of the elected officials means a lot, especially in small communities. Everyone living in the city needs to know that crimes like these will not be tolerated. Lakewood Mayor Ray Cole spoke to the media about the issue and explicitly said it was bothersome to him. Coles went on to explain that I have a waiting list of Section 8 vouchers of maybe 2,000 families that really need it. In other words, he wants to make sure that the families who do need assistance are getting it. Wow. How'd they come up with that, uh, that idea? Selling businesses? I mean, how could you do that? That's unbelievable. It's, it's incredible. And they don't feel any shame either? No shame whatsoever. I guess the money is pretty big. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.